Hi, I'm Tammy Steinbeck, and I create quick tutorials on a variety of photographic software to help you get up to speed more quickly. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about how I use Lightroom, my iPhone, and Dropbox to quickly and easily get all the images from my iPhone into Lightroom without really having to touch a thing. So stick around and we'll get started. So for this to work, you have to have your uh, Dropbox account set up and ready to go and you obviously have to have some photos on your phone and you also have to have a, um, a setting called auto import turned on and configured in Lightroom. We'll get to that part in a, in a little bit. But first I'm here in Dropbox and I have a folder called camera uploads and this is where Dropbox and um, a Dropbox app called Carousel that I use work in conjunction and so what happens is I take a picture with my iPhone I actually don't have it set up so that it imports automatically although you can do that I have it set up so that um, the, the pictures on my camera roll will be uploaded once I open the carousel app and for me it's just a matter of making sure that I'm in control of what pictures go where and, um, and then I, I, that I know about it because one thing that I like to do, I only have a 16 gigabyte phone so I like to use this process to kind of clean out the photos in my phone to make more space for you know new photos or apps or whatever. But anyway, um, back to Dropbox here, you have to have um, a folder and it has to be empty to start. Um, Lightroom needs to have an empty folder for this process to start. So in my case, I have a folder called Camera Uploads. Just click on it and see that it's empty. So I'll go back. And next, what I want to do is um, show you what it looks like on the, the phone. Okay, so what we're looking at here now is, um, that's my phone on the screen. and. I just want to show you, I've, I'm going to go to where I have Dropbox, and here again is that Camera Uploads folder. I'll just show you that it is empty right now. And then I also have another app on the phone that I use, keep that in my Photos folder, um, and it's called Carousel. And Carousel is from Dropbox, and what it does is it just keeps um, any of the pictures that are stored in Dropbox are displayed on your phone but they don't take up any space so these are just old pictures that are not in that that one camera uploads folder so just wanted to show you that exit out um, so the next thing that we have to do is set up Lightroom so let's go ahead and and do that so here we are back in Lightroom and this is kind of where the, the magic actually happens. You need to go up to the File menu, click on it, and select Auto Import. And then go to Auto Import Settings. Now mine's already set up, but I'm going to walk you through the different steps. The most important thing is the first section here where it says Watched Folder. That's where you're going to select the Camera Uploads folder from Dropbox. And so that's what I've done here. I've got Dropbox synced to my, my iMac. And so I'm going into that particular folder, Camera Uploads, selecting it, choosing it. And then I have to say, well, where do I want the pictures to go that I'm uploading? And in this case, I'm putting them on my um, I have a external hard drive called Pictures. And then um, I'm putting them in my Lightroom Photos folder, which is where I keep all of my Lightroom things and I have a subfolder called iPhone photos so if we scroll over here I have to close that for a second if we scroll over here what you'll see is this is where I'm putting my photos I just put all my iPhone photos in one folder um, and that's just kinda how I like to store them so that's what I've got here and, and that I've recently started doing this process that's why there's not a whole ton of pictures in there but this is a folder where I want my photos to go automatically. So let's go back up to auto import and just take a look at what else we have to choose from. So again, we're looking at a watched folder. In other words, you know, when an image enters this folder, move it to this subfolder in Lightroom. 
you can go ahead and determine how you want to, uh, to name your images. I just keep file name for mine. And you can also add a little bit of metadata, keywords, um, develop settings. If you wanted to, I mean, you could have all the pictures turned into black and whites or, you know, whatever you want using different presets and things. So it's pretty powerful. But so I'm going to close that for now. And I'm going to show you how this whole thing works together. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this all works. Um, it goes pretty fast, so I'm going to be switching screens here pretty quickly, and we'll see if we can't make it work. I'm going to go into my camera. I'll just take a quick picture of my little Lego collection here. That photo is now in my camera roll. Let's just look at it there. Actually, they don't call it camera roll anymore, do they? That's the picture I just took. So I'm going to go back. Close that. I'm going to open up Carousel. And what you'll see is the picture is down here. In the little corner down in this area, you'll see that it's uploading. Now we got to quickly let's see, move over to Dropbox. And now you see I've got the picture in Dropbox. It's already gone because it's already been loaded into Lightroom. That's how quickly it, it went. So I took the picture. It was I opened it in Carousel, so it's loaded into Dropbox because it's in that watched folder that I have, the one called Camera Uploads. It's immediately then loaded into my iPhone Photos folder in Lightroom. So, I mean, it can't be any quicker than that. And really, it's not that hard to get it set up. So, um, I'll just kind of go over some some of the more you know, details again here in a second. So, just to review, the way that I have it set up is back in, in Dropbox, I have a camera uploads folder. And now, before I go any further, remember that the way that I'm doing this, I'm taking a picture on my iPhone. It's going to Dropbox. It's only staying there for a portion of a you know a second or so and then it's moved to uh, Lightroom and that's just the way that I like to do it um, that way it's stored in Lightroom and then I've got my backups there you may very well want it to stay in Dropbox and then you have to figure out um, you know how you want to make that happen but so here I've got my camera uploads folder you know the picture was in there but it moved to Lightroom so this folder is empty again now we'll go back over to Lightroom, and as you recall, we went up to File, Auto Import, Auto Import Settings. Oh, make sure that Enable Auto Imports checked at the top here too. Select a watched folder, and it can you know it can be any folder that you want in Dropbox where your where your pictures are, or where your pictures go when you take them. And then have a destination. In my case, I've got a particular file structure. Um, and a particular subfolder that I want them all moved into. And again, you can change the names, you can add metadata. Once that's all set up, all you have to do is take a picture with your phone and open up Carousel, and everything happens like you saw within a second, you know, two seconds or so, and the pictures are, are where you want them. So hopefully that. Um, that helps. It, it might seem confusing. It's really not. It's really straightforward and, and easy. And for me, it helps so much because I'm able to very quickly take a look at the pictures that I have on my phone, say, yeah, these are the ones that I want to get off the phone so that I have space for, for more photos and have them automatically loaded into Lightroom, where then I'm able to, you know, do whatever I want with them uh, and edit them as I, as I normally would. So that's it for this time. I thank you very much for, for watching and listening, and um, I will be back soon with more uh, photography tips. Thanks so much.